Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. A little over a year ago, I was given some Porcelio dilatatus giant canyon, and in the culture, I found some interesting specimens, including these three. You can see that this one has a very pale coloration, dark eyes, uh, but otherwise very pale. It was in fact, uh, had a whiter color to it, but I think it's possibly sequestered some carotenoids or things like that, and uh, that's why it's a little bit uh, kind of off-white, I guess you could say. Here's an individual with some very pale areas near the, uh, including the uropods, but also in the area of the pleon near the uropods. And then this one has some of that same thing going on, but just less of it, less pronounced. And there were a, a couple more individuals, I think, um, that have since passed away, but these are still going strong. The thing is, there has been no reproduction. Not only did I not get uh, any babies that had this uh, coloration, I didn't get any babies, it was a small number of uh, specimens, and I think they may be all males. So we're going to do a little check and see what we see here. The most dependable way to determine whether an isopod is male or female is to look underneath the pleon, or the rear portion, if you will, at the pleopods. Here you can see that males have modified pleopods used in mating, and a female does not have this modification to the pleopods. So this is the method that I learned from Easy Eddie. You get a Petri dish and a cotton ball. Thanks, Easy Eddie, for sharing that. I think it was on an Instagram post that I learned that. Very cool bit of information. You only put one in at a time. That was an accident that I put two. I'm going to put one back. Okay, now I've got one in the, the dish here. I'm going to very gently restrain it with the cotton ball. And we can look underneath. It does look like a male. Here's the pale individual, same thing. I'm going to just gently restrain it. Yeah, you can see the pointed structures pointing downwards towards the uropods there as well. Looks like another male. And here's the last one. We're going to check. Yep, there's the structures pointing downward. Pleopods. And so we have another male. Maybe that's what's going on. I did put some younger uh, wild type giant canyons in the enclosure with them not long ago to see if that helps. So hopefully we'll see if this particular trait proves out to be something that is heritable. Hopefully it is. If I had bothered to check earlier, I probably would have addressed this issue earlier. I just kind of took care of them, but, you know, left them alone to their own devices, not really bothering them at all. Just uh, making sure they got fed and watered and whatnot. And if I had checked earlier, maybe I would have found out something more and we would have had um, more, you know, maybe things would have gone differently if I had checked earlier. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.